Right, hello. I'm not sure if that's okay or if you can see me, but I really wanted to do a video today because uh, I watched uh, Mama yesterday. It's on Netflix now. Uh, I think it was from 2013. And I remember seeing the trailer and really wanting to see it because I'm quite a horror movie enthusiast. Uh, so I'm quite into horror in general and compared to the other shite that's come out, the other... Uh, the past few years particularly, uh, it didn't look too bad so I wanted to give it a watch and I didn't think I'd kind of make a review about it or anything because I don't really do reviews but it really surprised me and that's why I want to, I don't want to do a full in-depth review but I really want to just kind of give my opinion on it and uh, just kind of tell you out there. So initially when I saw the trailer I was really excited for it, I thought it looked kind of uh, really quite scary which a lot of horror films struggle to do uh i've never actually been scared by a horror film to date a pop well obviously jump scares but that that's kind of cheating uh <laughs> no but i've never been uh scared of a horror film so when i saw the trailer i kind of i really wanted to say, uh, see it and the same was kind of for when i originally saw the evil dead trailer uh you know if they kind of make me not scared but a little bit shocked in the trailer then i tend to think that that's going to uh, have some effect in the actual film. Um, Terminator Salvation, you lied to me. Uh, but the rest of that, um, it was good. Uh, and that's why I wanted to kind of talk about it, because I find that a lot of problems with people these days is that they judge horror films or any, in fact, genres in general, particularly horrors and comedies, people tend to judge how good the film is on its strict genre which is why i really don't kind of like genres because the same kind of happens with music as well a lot of people will be like uh the film was crap or whatever just because it wasn't scary or it wasn't funny or whatever but you kind of have to look past that uh a lot of people for example uh you know with with the saw franchise which is one of my favorite uh horror franchises of all time uh a lot of people hate on it they either it's a love or hate relationship and people tend to hate on it just for the pure fact that it didn't scare them it made it grossed them out a little bit but it didn't scare them and i think well you kind of have to look past that story is very clever psychologically and that is the reason why i like it it's not to do with well actually no i, I like blood i'm sorry i'll just put that out there i like blood uh so yeah i really i like the go too but yeah i'm uh going off on a train not an actual train but i'm going off so uh, off track so i thought i'd uh talk about mama the reason i really liked it was because about five minutes in i uh just kind of straight away went this is this is awful this is crap i, I need to turn this off and it was only two stars on netflix uh it was only rated two stars uh so that tends to obviously have an effect on your overall opinion anyway i kept it on uh, for the pure fact that I was watching it with my brother and he didn't say anything, so I was presuming that he really wasn't minding it and he wanted to watch the rest of it. So I kept it on and I carried on watching it. And as you kind of get more into it, y your head just kind of goes, this is a really good story. Um, I, I was meant to look into it today, but I f forgot. I was supposed to actually have a look if it was adapted off a Japanese thing or whatever, because things like this... Gen generally are that you know uh in fact i was uh, going to rewatch hatchet the other day with my girlfriend and uh the tagline for that is it's not a remake not a sequel and no it's not uh made from a japanese one and i thought that that is basically sort of modern horror and that is why it's really kind of going downhill because it's either the ones that are half decent are remade from Japanese one so there's no originality with the ideas anymore which is why I love the original slashes because you can watch them and just see how different they are uh, particularly sort of films like Nightmare on Elm Street where the films are different e each film is different the franchise isn't the same story all the time and they manage to have quite a bit of leeway uh, in between those stories so yeah that's why I like Mama because it was really different the story wasn't trying to uh, kill everyone it's more it got a much more emotional side to it and it doesn't uh it goes pretty much straight into it 
uh, it starts off with the actual children and explaining how they go away. So in the trailer, I kind of assumed it was, uh, even though, like I say, it did excite me, originally I kind of assumed it was similar to sort of uh, the Amityville Horror and things like that, where they'd gone to this house and then there was a spirit inside, blah, 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 built on an Indian burial ground, etc, etc. But it's not like that. Uh, and I think that's why I really liked it. I was able to kind of have like an emotional connection with the uh the children in particular which sounds sounds a bit weird because you don't you don't expect that in a horror in a horror you know you just kind of expect the scary stuff um which is basically paranormal activity there's no story but i'll save that rant for another day um so yeah it goes kind of in depth and you able to connect with the characters because they're not blunt characters they're not typical horror characters you know it's not a blonde girl running through a forest and tripping over uh, a random speck of dirt it's these two children who get an emotional connection with a spirit in fact i don't think it actually is a spirit um uh, i think that could have been explained more who the mama character actually is but uh so that's the way you kind of managed to connect and that was what pulled me in it wasn't horrifying it wasn't scary so i apologize to the director whose main aim was to scare the audience but honestly to do with that then that side was really badly done i mean there was even jump scares there's a real lack of jump scares and that's like i said before the cheat way to do it but you are able to connect with these characters and um Emp you can empathise with them as well, particularly the older one because she's able to actually speak. Uh, the younger one, that character really could have been de developed a bit more. I mean, I know there's always the problem with child actors, uh, but she, she, I mean, the children aren't actually amazingly bad actors. Uh, and I know I'm kind of going on about the children here, but they're kind of the main focus of this film, I think. Uh, so, I'm trying to think where to carry on without um, repeating myself, sorry. Uh, and I'll probably not edit this as well, so you'll see all this little fraternising bit. Apologies for that. No, but yeah, so you're really able to connect with these characters. And Ah, oh, I'll move on to the adults now. So, the adults you're also able to connect with in a better way because their story is also a bit more developed. Uh, you've got the dad and the mom at the very, well, yeah, so you've got the kids' parents at the very beginning of the film, and then they're taken in, uh, again, I'm trying to sort of do it without ruining the whole film, but they're taken in by this, uh, uh, by their uncle, and I'm not sure who she's supposed to be, uh, the woman, I think she's called Angelica, I really should have... It was either because, it's either because I wasn't paying enough attention or because I'm, uh, like, very, very tired right now. But, <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's called Angelica or something beginning with an A. I apologise for that. Uh, but she's actually a really good character. They kind of brush over her, her sort of backstory and whatnot. Well, I'm making it sound like superheroes now, but, yeah, they sort of brush over her backstory and whatnot and she's a really good character because she provides a sort of motherly figure for the two children so then of course you have this sort of battle to become the new mother between her and uh, the mama character so you've got this kind of battle and i think that was really good that it's they don't really have like a massive standoff at the end but it was really uh really good to see that um the end of the film kind of randomly ends up at a cliff uh, for no apparent reason. I wasn't quite... I think that was just to kind of make it more dramatic, a bit more scary. Uh, you know, you have to include sort of the woods and other sort of various places when you're doing a horror film because that that's what they do. You have to get that sort of typical stuff in there. So uh, it kind of ends up there. And then you have this... Uh, the last sort of scene is this really kind of emotional... Uh, you have this really sort of quick standoff between the Mama uh, character and the uh, uh, Angelica, who is probably not called Angelica, characters. So you have that, and then you have this emotional 
thing where the child realises who she really uh, wants to be with. And uh, the acting, actually, for the child actors is superb at this uh, at this point because um, it's they actually really well show how emotional that situation would be if it was a real life sort of situation um, and then you have this really emotional I mean the CGI and this it it's not too bad for the rest of the film because it's you know the character the mama character is very quick and whatnot uh, but for this bit it's slow and you've got really close in her face with the child's face uh lily i think she's called again i'm probably wrong uh really close up in their faces and the cgi is awful but apart from that it was very uh emo emotional and again that's a that's the problem because it's a horror trying too hard to try and scare the audience so the character has this very scary looking face and she should, should have sort of a horrific looking face otherwise it get rid of the whole point uh, but the CGI was cheap makes it look quite shoddy bit crap uh, and then you've got this uh, sort of uh, cocoon type thing as they're sort of falling and I'll not ruin that bit but yeah, so I really like the ending. The ending was really good and you can kind of see where they would take it if there was a sequel um, and you could continue with the same characters. I mean, you'd have to chuck a bit more characters in there just to make it a bit more interesting uh, and not the same story, but you could see where they would go from that. Uh, so yeah, I really liked it. It's a good film. Problem is, like I say, labels shouldn't call it a horror film. I would call it a sort of intense supernatural drama type thing. Uh, but that is how they would have got viewers in cinema and whatever. So uh, kudos to that or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's really good. So I just wanted to make this. I'm not sure how long I've been sat here because I have been sort of droning on and not just thinking. It feels nice to be back in the camera anyway. Uh, feels nice to be able to talk about something that I actually want to talk about. I've really kind of the main reason I've not made a lot of videos uh, these past two years. That is that is bad, but yeah, these past two years is I've not really had anything to talk about. So I think I'll probably do more sort of videos like this. I don't want to I don't want to do strict reviews of things because I get kind of bored from just being like this is bad, this is good because everyone has different opinions. So I'd rather do sort of my opinion on Mama or my opinion on i'm sorry i'm looking at nearby objects to talk about the order or periphery uh whatever so i'd rather do things like that i hope you enjoyed this video i uh, hope it was kind of informative give you a better idea of uh, what the film is actually like uh, go check it out i'd love for you to go check it out and then you might be able to see it from my perspective if you watch it without actually sticking the horror label on it you should be able to see what I mean and actually be able to, like I say, connect with the characters a bit more. On the last note, the worst part of it is the moths. There's too many moths. That is that is the worst thing about the film. I no, too many moths. Adios, amigos.